Welcome to my channel today news. Please subscribe my channel for update news and get notifications from today news. Two former top South American football executives have been found guilty of multiple charges at a U.S. trial into corruption in the sport. Both Jose Maria Marin, the former head of Brazil's Football Confederation, CBF, and Juan Angel Knockout, who led South America's football governing body can medal, were convicted on Friday. The men were arrested in 2015. The jury in New York are still deciding the verdict in a charge against the former head of Peru's federation. They will reconvene after Christmas to make a decision in the racketeering charge against Manuel Berga. His lawyer declined to make a comment on the Reuters news agency. Marin, who is also a former governor of Sao Paulo, was found guilty of six of the seven counts against him of money laundering and wire fraud conspiracy. Not out who headed the Paraguayan football body as well as the regional one, was found guilty of three charges, one of racketeering conspiracy and two wire fraud charges. The investigation focuses on corruption around the awarding of media and marketing rights for major sporting competitions, including the Copa America. Prosecutors have said the crimes amount to an estimated $200 million, 150 million pounds. Last month, Argentine former football official Jorge Delhan killed himself after being accused of taking $2 million, 1.5 million pounds, in bribes as part of the trial. Following Friday's verdicts, football's world governing body FIFA said it strongly supports and encourages the U.S. authorities' efforts to hold accountable those individuals who abused their positions and corrupted international football for their own personal benefit. The FIFA trial reminiscent of a Hollywood drama. Who are the indicted FIFA officials? The U.S. investigation into corruption at FIFA was first revealed in May 2015. Federal prosecutors in New York have indicted more than 40 sports and football executives linked to football in the Americas as part of the inquiry. In October the former head of Guatemala's federation, Hector Trujillo, became the first person to be sentenced as part of the investigation. Trujillo was sentenced to eight months in prison after pleading guilty to wire fraud and conspiracy. Another official, Costas Takas, former general secretary of the Cayman Islands Football Association, was sentenced to 15 months in prison by a U.S. judge shortly after.